Hi, my name is Vivian and I'm a clinical trainer with Medtronic. There are several factors that influence your glucose levels. Making small changes to the way you carb count and bolus can help improve your time and range. Let's first chat about carb counting. Accurate counting helps ensure you get the right amount of insulin to cover the food you eat. If you underestimate carbs, your sugars can go high after eating. On the flip side, if you overestimate your carbs, you risk going low. Here are some tactics that experienced carb counters use. Many people download apps onto their phone that estimate carbs. There are times when it's inconvenient or impossible to read food labels, especially when eating out. Apps like Calorie King can help you be more accurate when estimating carbs. Another option is to ask for a nutrition menu or try searching for the restaurant's nutrition menu online. Another method experienced carb counter use is keeping a list of the amount of carbs that are in foods you commonly eat. You can keep this list in the notes section of your phone or an index card in your meter case. For example, if you eat tacos every Tuesday, accurately measure carbs one Tuesday and put it in your list. You can then simply check back each Tuesday to confirm the carb amount, rather than calculating everything all over again. Over time, most begin to memorize these numbers. Finally, some people use measuring cups or a food scale to help with carb counting accuracy. Most times when you cook at home, you'll have access to food labels that contain carb amounts based on serving size. You can use measuring cups or a food scale to measure a serving, helping you accurately calculate the amount of carbs you're eating. Now that we've covered tips for carb counting, let's review a few quick bolusing tips. First, you should bolus before every meal and for snacks. Aim to bolus about five to 15 minutes before eating. Second, take advantage of the system's ability to help you calculate the insulin amount needed for each bolus. When using SmartGuard Auto Mode, you'll simply enter the carbs you plan to eat and provide a blood glucose reading and the system calculates your optimal dose for the meal. If using manual mode, the bolus wizard feature can provide the same guidance. Third, we know it can be hard to know exactly what you'll eat for a meal. This is often the case at potlucks or a barbecue with friends. If you're unsure, bolus for what you know you'll eat before you, your meal. Then when you're done, you can always bolus for any additional carbs you ate. If these tips do not help you achieve more time and range, we recommend checking in with your healthcare team for additional advice. Thanks for watching.